the exhibition has a very theatrical basis in that many of the works are works made in connection to theatre performances, starting with the maquette for the Magic Flute, the Mozart Opera, which was a production I did some years ago. One of the other projections in the collection of Maxi is Zeno at 4am, which is based on La Coscienza di Zeno, Etero Sfeva, the great Trieste writer. Then the third theatrical element in the exhibition is the maquette of the theatre of the production Refuse the Hour, which at the moment is in performance just down the road at Teatro Argentina, but which has another version inside the exhibition in the installation The Refusal of Time. There are also small models of some of the objects and machines we use in the refusal of time on the this, on this stage, and various texts, various rubrics, red texts, which are phrases that appear in different performances. So the theme of the exhibition is the way in which the theatre comes out of the theatre into the studio and from the studio to the gallery, and also the way in which the walls of the studio expand into the theatre. Vertical thinking is a way of thinking about landscape. So if you're in Rome, for example, your sense of the terrain is given horizontally by the movement of the river Tiber as it moves through the banks, the city spreading out from this bank. So you essentially have a horizontal kind of thinking. Johannesburg, where the work is, comes from, where I work and where I live, has a geological raison d'etre. Johannesburg is founded not on a river or a harbour or near a mountain, it has to do with gold under the ground. So to get to that gold requires a vertical action and a vertical thinking. But vertical thinking also refers to making of films, in which the role of film goes through the, uh, through the camera. It's also a vertical accumulation of images. So it's also about an inversion or a putting on its side of our usual way of thinking about work and thought. I think one of the things you do as an artist, one does if one's an artist, is one is constantly transforming time in the studio, particularly if you're working with animation or with film. And one of the things when you work with animation is that time gets transformed into distance, into doing so many frames per second to achieve a, a movement. One dissolves the time into these finite distances and then those dissolve back into time or you transform time into sound, or you can stretch it and slow it down and speed it up. So there are many ways of, of transforming the abstraction of time into something concrete and changeable. In Refusal of Time, one of the interesting things that I was interested in was this early 19th century mechanics of bicycles, of wheels, of gears, of pumps, of pumps that can expand like a bellows. And this together with thinking about time as something that can expand or contract or turn itself from this very abstract, invisible uh, material into something very concrete and physical. Cezanne said that you could draw the world by using a sphere, a cone or a cube and combinations. And so within those triad, you could say that the images of the cone correspond, of the megaphone correspond to the cone. The images of the world that are often seen in different images correspond to the sphere and the images of flags and crosses and images like the constructivist images correspond to the cube of Cezanne. So it's taking these very formal abstract things and finding them in the world. My general feeling is that the arts are vital in the way in which we constitute ourselves. That it's not to say that showing one film is going to transform a society that it will transform particular people who are viewing it, who are ready for that new view that the film or the drawing or the book will give them. And so that's the basis on which it seems to me it's both an interesting but also a central, vital, profoundly necessary uh, field to have around us, a field of images, of thoughts of other people in which we can see ourselves, in which we can find ourselves absent and look for ourselves in many different ways. Thank you.